infrared shot there of that fast boat, um, as we call it, mm -hmm. approaching. And they're basically doing another um, sniffing test, essentially, where they're, you can see that they, the team has, um, has PPE on, personal okay. protective uh, protection equipment. Uh, respirators to, yeah, respirator to do a, a triple check mm -hmm. that the vehicle is not releasing any of those uh, toxic hypergolic vapors. Right. All right, looks like that side hatch is open. Excellent. We've got a camera making way to see our crew for the first time there. All waving, all in good spirits. I see a bunch of thumbs up. Welcome home, AX1. Larry making his egress from the Dragon Endeavor. You can hear the cheers in the background for it. Thanks for everything. We'll see you on deck. Sounds good. Talk to you later. <laughs> My last call there from MLA to say that they're no longer going to be utilizing the Dragon communication systems. They'll just talk with everybody on the deck. <laughs> so there we saw mission specialist Mark Pathy. Aton making his egress and first stance back on ground in 17 days. Basically, the crews just go in and get checked out yeah. by the flight surgeon and right. um, get those thumbs up. Yeah, just that capability to have that immediate assessment is really important. Um, even if you are feeling perfectly fine, you're taking your great steps. You know, it's all part of the ground-based operations that ensure that you come home safely and you get out of the capsule safely. So there There's, we saw MLA slide down the ramp and now standing. Welcome home, Commander MLA. With that, all four crew members of AX-1 are now safely out of the Crew Dragon Endeavor.